Now coming to the mat, wearing the red from Egypt, Mohammed Abdel Fattah. World champion back in uh, 06 or 07, if I remember correctly. Fifth in the world last year. Trains here in the United States. Going to take on Raul Christopher Johnson, a.k.a. RC. Plymouth, Minnesota native. Robbinsdale Armstrong, graduate of Northern Michigan University. And if you missed it, Muhammad's previous match, he ended both periods with five-point throws rather quickly. And here we go with Abdel Fattah and Johnson. Big throw by Fatah looking for the fall. Johnson in trouble. Fatah trying to settle. It's, it's going to be five or three. I missed the confirmation. They'll continue as we look for the fall. Five and one. And that should do it. Five point end of period. Or is it three? We'll have a little conference. Nothing's on the scoreboard because nothing's been confirmed. All right, we will go to the second period. It was confirmed, so actually it should be 6-0 red. No, other way around on the scoreboard. Now we got it situated. Here we go with the second period. That was Abdel Fattah's third five-pointer of the day. So now Fatah will go down and defend to try to win the period and the match. Johnson trying to turn, 13 to go. 
Works the gut, loads to his right, now tries to drive left. They give the point to Johnson. So he will win the period on the turn. To be honest with you, I'm kind of confused on that, but uh, they don't pay me to officiate. Apparently blue jeans are not allowed in the corner. Learn something new every day. Of course, the blue jeans being referred to by U.S. multiple time world teamer and Olympian T.C. Dantzler. Fifteen to go. Front headlock by Fatah. Snap, spin, go behind. One point. Fatah looking for a big lift. No, nope. rolls forward. Lifts and gets three, and now another turn. Probably going to get two more out of that. That'll do it. Abdel Fatah, past world champ. Picks up a victory over R.C. Johnson to move on to the finals.